Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strings. So, Lamar Jackson is week to week, as they say. We have the Falcons coming up. Should Lamar Jackson play? My opinion? No. <laughs> he should not. You don't want to give me what I deserve? Go ahead and play with Huntley and Brown. Go ahead. You got rid of my number one wide receiver. You, you giving me a offense coordinator and a head coach that's only really for their ego. They're really only doing everything for their ego. Why should I go out there and play? I had a quad injury. You have running up the middle. You're making design plays instead of for passing. You're making design plays for a quarterback run when you have a quarterback that has a quad injury. Yes, he didn't get injured on a run play, but a lot of them run plays build up to that injury. I know Dan Arlowski put out a, um, a video. Matter of fact, here it is. Pacing, timing, a reason, rhythm, con connection, distribution. Everything's tied together. Hmm. Ravens have none of that, none of that in their offensive pass game. And that's why you sit there and go, like, look at this up top. This is this past week with Huntley. When, wh where is there a spacing here or, or, or reasoning or connection or distribution or everything stuck together? There are five guys on one hash of the field to the sideline. There's yeah. way too many plays, not only uh, in that game, but on a weekly basis mm -hmm. that look like that. And so if I sit there and say, man, their defense is playing so good and Dobbins back helped and Lamar is going to – their passing game schematically, X's and O's, is so fundamentally flawed. Now, a lot of us seen this video already. A lot of us have not. But I've seen some people was like, well, Greg Romney explained that that play was built for the quarterback run. Why would you build a play like that for a quarterback run? How about building a play where your wide receivers get open instead of having them all bunched up on the left side of the field? Make a play for the wide receivers to get open. But no, you're running your quarterbacks to the ground. You have great running backs in the back. And you're designing these type of plays. Doesn't make sense. Lamar Jackson is out. So many run plays. He's done. I remember when he they, they reported he's missing, you know, a couple of days before he got injured. He uh, was missing a couple of days. Uh, you know, the practice uh, now, you know, just kind of like that. And then game time, he's plays. And I remember seeing him have to run and run. And I'm like, why are you calling these run plays? And I know some people like, man, Lamar, can, he can choose not to. Can he? When you're getting the plays so late where you don't have no chance to audible. You're just stuck with that play. You're gonna be stuck with the outcome. Heck, even Tyler Huntley is dealing with that now. Watching the play cock goes just down and just go down. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Even in the Browns game, they call a timeout to stop the clock. Then they get right after that timeout, they get a delay of game. Through that timeout, how come Huntley didn't already have the play and tell it to the other players in the huddle? And 
And I know Lamar probably looking at that as like, <laughs> not me. And I wouldn't come back. I would let them sit there being a misery. Nine and five. And you lose to the Falcons. With Tyler Huntley starting or Anthony Brown, whoever. That would be writing on the wall. Subliminal messages Lamar should be sending to Steve Brashotti, to Eric DaCosta. Hey, I know I'm that dude. Look at your offense. Give me some playmakers. Give me two number one wide receivers like Hertz has. Like, or what's, um, I almost said Cal Hamilton. <laughs> Like Murray has. Give me some wide receivers. Give me a new offense coordinator. Give me a new head coach that we all can believe in. I wouldn't play not one more game. But Raven, see, y'all might not even make the playoffs. Okay. Do you see us winning the Super Bowl? So we doing participation trophies, just making the playoffs? We should go out there and have a parade? Have some on our jackets, made playoffs in 2022? What? And didn't even win one game? All right, if we did win one game, 2022, playoffs, one and done. <laughs> is, is that a flag? They, they selling on Fanatics? Come on. If I'm Lamar, that's it. That was the last time y'all see me play for this year until I get paid. Until I get paid. So y'all need to figure out what you're going to do with Raquan. Try to hurry up and pay him this year or before the season, before the end of the season. But give me my money. It just don't make sense. But hopefully Lamar stays out. Hopefully Lamar stays out. Get 100% healthy. Because the next time he should play, he hopefully he will have a, a Sean Payton, a Brian Flores as a, a head coach. And you know if we get Sean Payton, he will be calling the plays, talking to Lamar. But did you see one-on-one? -on -one? Not some dude that's all the way in the booth with a headset on. Play like he looking at some plays. Not getting the plays out late to Lamar. Or the backup Huntley. Just don't make sense, man. Just don't make sense. And I know some people probably thinking, man, you just talking negative. Am I really? Am I talking? So you telling me. You believe this current Ravens, some miracle way, can win the Super Bowl this year. If you actually 100% believe that, explain to me what do you see that I don't see. Because I see this team might be a one and done if they can win one in the playoffs. But Super Bowl? Oh, no. That's way out of there. I don't see them beating no Kansas City. I don't see them beating the freaking Bengals. I don't see it. With what offensive power? With what Lamar is playing with? Oh, he was getting all the points at the beginning of the year, though. Remember that? Beginning of the year. Right now, people are playing spoilers and playoff football already. And it's going to go to another level. So, tell me. I'm just speaking my truth. Everybody have a good one.